So I want you to say a blessing today. Every cause can be neutralized. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is say a blessing. Psalm 107 verse 2. And we are looking at the reality of causes. Today we want to look at adversity. A cause is an appeal to some supernatural power to inflict evil on someone which may cause misery or lead to death. A cause is any expressed wish that some form of adversity or misfortune will befall or attach itself to someone. So another way to describe a life under a cause is the word adversity. This includes misfortune, continual struggle, hard life, hardship, groaning, travail, bad times, ups and downs, bitter pills, setbacks, recession, depression, want, need, distress, bad luck, unlucky, unblessed, poor, wretched, miserable, unhappy, doomed, accident prone. In Deuteronomy 28:20. The Lord will send on you cursing, confusion, and rebuke in all that you set your hand to do until you are destroyed and until you perish quickly because of the wickedness of your doings in which you have forsaken me. So you can see calamity, panic, frustration. People under a cause feel frustrated. They have these induced feelings of discouragement. You know, to make ineffectual, make vain, no matter how hard one tries, his effort never pays off. Deuteronomy 28 verse 29, And you shall grope at new day, as a blind man gropes in darkness. You shall not prosper in your ways. You shall be only oppressed and plundered continually, and no one shall save you. So to grope means to look for something blindly, or uncertainly, and that's a cause. A person under a cause is always looking for success, but, can, but never can find it. So I want you to say a blessing today. Every cause can be neutralized. In Acts 10, 34 to 35, then Peter opened his mouth and said, in truth, I perceive that God shows no partiality, but in every nation, whoever fears him, and works righteousness is accepted by him. So you can say a blessing, Lord, I fear you. I'm walking in righteousness. No cause in my life shall align. Thank you.